I'm Justin with americantrucks.com and on this episode of The Haul, we're doing SEMA, baby. What is up everybody? Justin with americantrucks.com. As you can see, the sun is shining on another beautiful SEMA this year, 2021. We might have missed last year, but don't worry guys, we are back in full effect this year. You know the deal, we're gonna be bringing you the hottest trucks of the show, not just F-150s, but also the little guys, the big guys, and everything in between. We got a lot to check out, guys. This is gonna be a pretty full day, so what do you say we get to it? So every year, Ford Outfront is definitely my kind of playground here at SEMA. Uh, they got the baddest stuff sliding around, making a bunch of noise, just blowing tires off everything. So let's go see what they got in store for us this year. Come on. So I think I speak for all of us American Truck Ford fans when I say, who doesn't love a good OBS build, am I right? This is just no ordinary OBS build. Let's take a closer look. Definitely SEMA worthy. So obviously we got the lift, we got the big old 37s in place. This is actually done with Ford and KTL Restorations. It's called Project Artemis. The big story here though, check this out guys. An old OBS with a new heart. That's right, this is the 7.3 Godzilla under the hood of this gorgeous, gorgeous 1997 F-250. I love this thing, man. I mean, it's got the uh, retro graphic going down the side. She's a long girl too, check it out. We got the 10 up there. This is definitely your ultimate overland build, but with some style, you know what I mean? Nowadays, you slap all this new stuff on the new trucks and you can just whatever, call it an overland build. You're almost too pampered, if you know what I mean. But this one, this has got some class, you know what I mean? Like this isn't just your normal everyday F-250. This thing is done right. And with that Godzilla heart, definitely one of my favorite trucks here at SEMA and worthy of being in Ford out front. So a lot of people always ask me, what's SEMA like? Like, what are the trucks like? Are they just, you know, pretty mild? Are they kind of crazy? I'm gonna show you guys in four or five trucks what you can expect when you come to a SEMA show. Ready? Let's go. F-450 lifted, tons of chrome. Old school F-150 lifted, color match stuff everywhere. Look at this butte here, monster super duty. An even bigger F-250 Platinum lifted on God knows what size wheels. Look at these things. Are you kidding me right now? Just completely a monster truck. I mean, this is SEMA building. This is the stuff you expect to see here. Look at this thing, Tweety's tire. I mean, this thing's towering over my head. And then last but not least, we got this monster here as well. So if you guys want a good indication of what to expect when you come to a SEMA show, these few trucks right here, show you everything you can expect to see here at SEMA. All right, so some of you guys that are fans of the channel might know that I had a Gen 2 Raptor, absolutely loved it, built it up, had a ball with it, right? And I actually am kind of partial to the Gen 2 to the Gen 3, but that's neither here nor there. Let's check out maybe one of the sickest Gen 2 builds I have ever laid eyes on. Look at this thing. The fact that this thing is just amongst the other cars out here, uh, in front of SEMA is almost a shame because the level of detail to this build is just unreal. Obviously widened a little bit through the aftermarket fenders, both front and rear. Just an absolutely gnarly King suspension setup. Looks like big three and a half or four inch shocks on this thing. The bypasses, the bump stops, you know it. It's got everything going on. Interior is absolutely nuts as well. Fully caged. We got the GPS there. Party seats both front and back. I mean, this is just done. Absolutely proper. Look at that. You never know when you're gonna bust a drive shaft off road, right? Well, don't worry. I got you, fam. We got a drive shaft. We got gas. We got spares. Where do you want to go? This thing will take you there. So. Yeah, the Gen 3 might be the new hotness, I get it, but in my mind, in my, oh, dude, we didn't even see the, uh, the lower arm there as well, the swing arm setup. I mean, come on, this thing is just baller. Probably one of my favorite trucks here at SEMA and 
maybe one of the sleeper hits of the show in my humble opinion. And I still think the Gen 2's got it over the Gen 3. Let me know in the comments, which one are you taking? I'm curious to know. So SEMA 2021, Ford out front, definitely the year of the Bronco. I mean, it's no mystery. I can turn around and you see Bronco stuff all over the place, right? And if you guys are fans of Bronco, you stumbled on americantrucks.com Ford site, looking for some Bronco gear, well, guess what, you're in luck. Head over to our sister channel, extremeterrain.com, uh, the Bronco site, you can see all of our Bronco content there. Same stuff we do here at americantrucks.com. Awesome content, killer product review and installs over there for your sixth gen Bronco. Every year if you want to check out the coolest builds, when it comes to Ford at SEMA, you got to check out the Ford booth and this year is no different. What do you say we check out some of these rigs? So do you ever want to go camping and you're just not crazy about the idea of roughing it? Well, let me introduce you something that might just change your mind on that. This is the BTR Customs Tremor that is outfitted with the ultimate overlanding package. I mean, look at this. You got like a five-star hotel on the back of your Tremor, complete with the ladder up into your bed tent. We got that. We've got our bikes along for the ride as well. We got a bar top going on back here. Big screen TV, you got the projector going on. This is what I am talking about, guys. So, now I know some of us are still on the fence with uh, converting your rig to a full-on overland build, but this is one of those setups, again, that I think might change your mind a little bit. So outside of that, again, we talked about all the crazy stuff going on back there, but we also got a really, really sharp tremor here, kind of like in a matte, olive color but we got the honey badger bumper on the tremor 1552 wheels i love those big fan of those and again boom there you go so if you're looking to do some camping and you're not all about roughing it check out btr customs in their f-150 this is definitely the way to roll all right guys we got something old and something new for you here this is actually just unveiled this morning guys what you're looking at is a classic F100 pickup truck, but what's powering that truck, something a little bit different. Ford just unveiled their Illuminator, right? So they have their Illuminator, which is their, you know, gas-powered crate engine, five-liter engine, but the Illuminator is an all-electric motor that's gonna open up some swap possibilities for EV-type situations. Case in point, again, the F100 behind me here in white does have an all-electric powertrain now, uh, making 281 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque, courtesy of this E-Luminator. Now, I know this is something that's probably gonna rub some people the wrong way, because we all love our gas-powered engines, our internal combustion engines that go bang and make all the cool noises. But, I mean, listen, you can't knock Ford for actually capitalizing on the EV craze right now and doing something like this, which is throwing a 100% EV powertrain into an old classic pickup truck, right? And this is something that you will be able to buy if you wanted to put the Illuminator in your Pinto, in your Mustang, in whatever, you can, and it is gonna be coming your way very soon, courtesy of Ford Performance. So people are catching on to the idea of maximizing performance here with the F-150, especially the five liter power plant under the hood, right? I mean, when you factor in four wheel drive, you basically have an all wheel drive Mustang uh, with the addition of a bed. Now, present right here is the Ford Performance Sport Truck, I guess you could call it, right? You got a, a lowering kit from Ford Performance. You have their 22 inch wheels, check these guys out here. Very cool, but more importantly, you have, drum roll please, over 700 horsepower, courtesy of this monster. This is the Gen 5 Whipple Supercharger, three liter displacement, pumping out over 700 horsepower and over 590 pound-feet of torque to the tires. Absolutely nuts. Whipple at this time is one of the only companies offering supercharging and tuning capabilities for the 2021. So outside of the very sharp performance aspect and the very nice blower, look at this front end, guys. I mean, this is absolutely killer. Again, the truck is lowered through Ford Performance's kit. Got a little bit more of an air dam going on here with this particular setup. Some unique badging, of course, from Ford Performance. Oh, nearly forgot, check these puppies out. Massive six-piston Brembos up front. 
Kind of got that same blue color going on. Street Truck is making a big return here at SEMA 2021. So by now, it's no secret the Lightning is a real thing, 100% EV truck coming from Ford. So what we wanna know, guys, is what are you thinking about this? Are you buying into this? Listen, as someone who's driven a Raptor for the last five years and now five liter F-150, sink about 70 to 100 bucks a week in that thing in gas on the low side, I mean, I think it's pretty cool, right? Uh, if this is something you're not planning on taking on road trips, two, 300, 400 miles, and it's your daily around town type rig, I think it makes a whole lot of sense. Um, but ultimately, you gotta give your hat off to Ford here because they did a great job maintaining the very good looking F-150 body here. They didn't get too radical, too futuristic with the truck. Obviously the front end is a little bit different, especially on this model, which isn't the Pro. The Pro being kind of like the workman's truck, like the XL, they got rid of that lineage and now they're just calling it the Pro. Um, but now what you got is you got the bars going from here and then all the way across the truck, which I really like. And they made it affordable. Again, the Pro starts off, I think, just above 30. And then some of your nicer trims go up from there, of course. But uh, yeah, we want to know, man. Are you buying into the electric vehicle craze or not? Give us a comment. So Ford is really diversifying their lineup in general, but also at SEMA here, we've seen our fair share of Broncos, F-150s, F-250s, Rangers, but now this, Ford's latest addition to their lineup, the Maverick, which is a smaller truck. Again, it's gonna live underneath the Ranger in terms of size. And the one we're looking at here is done by Tucci Hot Rods. Now Tucci actually has a Bronco in the booth with pink tracks on it. And then they show up with something like this, which is totally the other end of the spectrum, right? Slammed Maverick, big turbo fan wheels, custom front chin and over fenders. And look at this spoiler, guys. I'm gonna take you around here and check this thing out. I mean, this is definitely a different style of build for more of the modern street truck vibes, if you know what I'm saying. Custom Borla exhaust. I actually really dig how the exhaust comes out of the bumper there. But what are we thinking about this, guys? I know this is probably a little crazy for our typical American Trucks fan. Most of us are gonna be uh, more of a lifted, off-road style vibe. We wanna know, are you digging these modern, lowered Mavericks? I mean, the Maverick in general, you gotta admit, it's pretty cool, right? Smaller truck, great gas mileage. Um, I know some of you be mad at me for calling it a truck when it's a unibody, but the point is, you're getting hybrid powertrain, 40 plus miles per the gallon, and uh, basically for less than $30,000. There's a lot to like about that. And the Tucci Hot Rod Maverick has certainly been a showstopper here at Ford. All right, guys, so I think I found the baddest Ranger here in the Ford booth. Check this thing out. This is done by Skyjacker Suspensions. This is their 2021 Ranger with their six inch lift kit installed. Yes, six inches. I mean, this thing's bigger than some of the F-150s in here and it's pretty gnarly. You get a good sense of the suspension going on down below. Obviously, you got your diff drop there. You got a spacer, up a control arm happening. Um, it's fender flares. It's a really, really good looking truck. Now, full disclosure, guys, I've never been the biggest fan of the Ranger as far as like appearance. Just never really was the toughest looking truck in my humble opinion, of course. But Skyjacker did a great job of toughening things up here thanks to parts like the ADD Stealth Fighter front bumper. Got some great looking flares going on, rock sliders here. And I'm really liking the graphics back here as well, but really good looking truck from Skyjackers. And again, if you're looking to make your Ranger stand out, that's a great way to do so. All right, so we talked about the Tucci Hot Rods Maverick, the blue slam Maverick with the big old fender flares and all that. Well, this is kind of the opposite of that. And I have a feeling this is probably gonna be the speed of more of you guys at home. I know our customers, I know our fans. So let's check this thing out. This is done by Air Designs. This is their Maverick which is a Lariat FX4 edition. It's got a little leveling kit on it, a Beltec one and a half inch leveling kit, and a 31 inch all-terrain tire on it. It's a sharp little rig. We got an aftermarket hood scoop on there. Definitely a unique color. We got a bed cap on this thing. So listen, I know the Maverick isn't gonna be for everybody. There's no denying that, but I think here at SEMA, you get a good sense of like what you can do between the two, right? Do you wanna go slam, modern, street truck? Do you wanna go a little bit more traditional, off-roady? You can do it both with the Maverick, and that's shown here at SEMA. All right, guys, we're standing in front of one of my favorite trucks here at SEMA 2021. It's my boys from Addicted Desert Designs. The first Gen 3 Raptor I've seen that's properly fitted with some killer stuff. I had all their bumpers or sliders on my Gen 2 and 
and I'm really pumped to see what they have to offer here on the Gen 3. So let's check out some of their hardware for the new truck. Starting with their Stealth Fighter bumper. Look at that, man. I love it. Love the opening for the lights down low. Really digging how tight it fits to the front end. Big fan of that. These are their ADD wheels as well. Check them things out. Beadlock capable, of course. Really dope with the black and yellow theme. Rock sliders, familiar face, of course. I had these on my Gen 2. Love them. Great looking step. Plus, so you got some functionality out of them. We have their chase rack here as well with the spare tire capability. And you know ADD, man. Look at all these welds. On point. Made in the USA. In Arizona, of course. Really big fan of the ghost letter on here on the Raptor. It really did a great job on that. And we've got the matching Stealth Fighter bumper in the rear, uh, done also in the gray. So a really, really sick job on the Gen 3 Raptor. Again, you're not seeing a whole lot of these Gen 3s at the show. Um, so I'm glad I ran into this one because, boys, well done. Well guys, the sun is setting on another SEMA show for us here, americantrucks.com. Ford, we had a great show. My dogs are barking, man. We saw a lot of cool stuff. Uh, the F-150, 250 stuff, the old tried and true stuff, if you will, but also some of Ford's new products as well, such as their Maverick, Bronco, and some of the other new stuff. So we want to know from you guys, what was your favorite build from this year's show? Drop us a comment and let us know. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm Justin, and for all things Ford, F-150, and you name it, keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.